How's it going everybody? With the new hero came a few extra game changes as well, so I won't be talking about Magi on this one here. If you want info on him, check the video from earlier this week. I will link to the patch notes down in the video description, so if you want to read them yourself, there you go. I won't go over every single change in this video, but rather pick out the more interesting ones that affect you guys the most. Having said that, let's start with the out of stamina changes. When you are knocked down, you will now always regain full stamina when the wake up animation starts. Damage is irrelevant, it's all about the standing up. This goes for throw, parry knockdown, revenge knockdown or every other move that can knock you down even when not completely out of stamina. There might be a few moves that don't follow the rules similar to George Hammerslam. But overall you should be getting your stamina replenished a lot with this change. What this also means is that some out of stamina punishes are no longer possible. That includes George and Gladiator for the most part, since they had an interest in doing double throws slash knockdowns when their opponent is out of stamina. The other part, and much more relevant to all of you, is that some out of stamina punishes will now be unsafe. The info up has those listed. Since the opponent now always has access to a fast guard break on wake up, the requirement of regaining stamina is now also fulfilled. Raider, Kensei, Lawbringer and a few others fall in that category. So make sure to either change it up or hope your opponent is a casual player. Did, did I use the word right? I don't know anymore, might be a slur nowadays. Never mind, moving on. Unlock tech has been fixed, sorta, of, but not really. I've made a video quite a while ago explaining how you can unlock reposts and with them to access better punishes. This was mostly used on Shinobi since you could get a sickle rain on heavy parries. Ubisoft fixed this by not allowing reposts to be input when not locked on. The workaround is now to use the sprint to unlock button and relock to get the repost. So it's still possible, but the problem I was running into is that the timing is now slightly later, which doesn't make the punish guaranteed all the time. I've had people claim they can consistently land it, but I wasn't able to get it to land even once. So we'll have to wait a few days until people have practiced the new inputs and then wait and see how consistent it is. Next up, stealth nerf and projectile targeting. Stealth will no longer stop you from being targeted by feats while locked on. Previously, if you were moving around or rather not perfectly stand still, projectiles would always miss you. That has been completely removed and you are now just as susceptible to them as anybody else. With one exception, and that is out of luck targeting or free aiming. Usually the reticule will snap onto the target, but if stealth is involved, it will not do that. And just as a reminder, the reticule is still not working correctly. If you keep an eye on the screen, you can see the white dot in the middle of it. That is where the projectiles will fly to. Now, if you start aiming, you can clearly see that the reticule goes under that dot and won't center around it. So keep that in mind when free aiming. The other thing that hasn't changed is that projectiles will not properly track people going up or down and include stairs, slopes and well everything really, it can even be affected by ladders depending on distance. What did change for the better though are throwables, you will no longer throw behind the target. The flask or bomb will now always land at the position of the target's feet at the moment of the throw. This also means you cannot whiff one of them and completely waste them by throwing them down a cliff or ledge. Overall, this makes using those feats a lot easier with a lot lower chance of error by not forcing manual aiming when targeting people in close proximity. Next change, two hero specific ones. Aramusha had two changes. For one, his side heavy guard break vulnerability has been fixed and is back to 433, meaning it will no longer stuff guard break attempts. Or rather, repeated guard break attempts. The second change is that he can now blade blockade the recovery cancel Fury Unleashed, which is the top light from blade blockade. It is now in line with his other moves. The near warlord change, head splitter can now be target swapped. Well, you can, but please don't expect target swapping like PK here. 
but you also won't whiff it horribly anymore. Seems to be somewhat usable as slow peel, especially since it's also an armored move. It's better now, but still nothing amazing. And for the last change I want to talk about the new end of match flow, which seems kind of a side grade to what we had already. It does look nicer, but seems to still take quite a while. And I don't think I speak out of turn when I say that what the community actually wanted is a skip option. Let us skip the whole thing, either by holding down a button or as an option in the settings that automatically moves us to the next match screen. Let me know what you think here. Do you like it? Was this change needed in this particular way? Would you have done something different? But yeah, rest of the changes can be found in the patch notes. These here were the most relevant in my eyes. Having said that, hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Latest everybody.